Welcome. LG Energy Solution will now show you how to install the Resu 16H Prime. Before installation, please make sure to read the installation manual thoroughly. One, before installation. Prepare the tools for installation. Note that the tools and cables necessary for installation are not provided by LG Energy Solution. Wear the safety gear listed in the installation manual at all times and refer to the manual for clearance and installation location. Open the package of the Resu set carefully. In the box, you will find the battery modules, battery control unit, module connect plate, module support brackets, standing brackets, spacers, M6 by L10 flange bolts, M5 by L200 long flange bolts, 3 quarter inch to 1 inch adapters, caps, manual, drill template, and cable ties. When removing the battery modules and battery control unit, check whether they have any damage. 2. Installation First, place the drill template on the wall and drill holes at the positions marked on the drill template. The recommended fastener count is one for each location and each hole should have a diameter of 10 millimeters and a depth of 40 millimeters. Place a spacer at the position marked on the drill template. After that, align the module connect plate with the drill template. Remove the drill template. Then pre-tighten the fasteners on the standing bracket 1. Place battery module B to the back of the module connect plate. Then place battery module A with the backside facing battery B. Assemble module support brackets and tighten them using six M6 flange bolts with a torque of five Newton meters. Remove the warning labels from the battery modules. Place the spacers at the positions marked by labels on the battery modules. Place the battery control unit on top of the spacers. Then, connect the two power connectors and two sensing connectors until you hear a click. After that, check that the battery pack is operating properly. First. Hold and turn the handle counterclockwise and open the front cover. Then, turn on the circuit breaker switch. Check that the LED power indicator is turned on and that 60 seconds later, the LED fault indicator is blinking. If there are no problems, turn off the circuit breaker switch and close the front cover. Next, check the alignment of the battery control unit. Lift one side of the battery control unit and remove one spacer. Then, do the same on the other side. Realign the battery control unit and loosen the four bolts to remove the top cover. Fasten the battery control unit to the battery pack and tighten the six M5 long flange bolts with a torque of five Newton meters. Pre-tighten the six M6 bolts to assemble the standing bracket two on battery control unit and standing bracket one. 
Then fully tighten the battery pack to the standing bracket 1 and 2 with all bolts and fasteners. Then reattach the top cover and tighten the four M5 by L65 flange bolts with a torque of 5 newton meters. Open the front cover and loosen the six bolts to remove the front protection cover. Insert the RMD Ethernet cable through hole number two and connect the cable. Three, commissioning. Then you should complete the Resu monitor setting with these steps. First, visit Resu monitor site and enter your ID and password. Access commissioning on the left sidebar. Select create commissioning info and fill in the information. Connect with Resu Prime via Wi-Fi and scan QR code on the battery modules and battery control unit. Next, connect the inverter line. For the inverter line, select the desired method for communications connectivity. Then, check that DIP switch is set to their default settings. Next, move to section E. Connect the ground cable and power cable. Arrange the power cables and communication cables separately using cable ties. Then, apply silicone sealant or putty around the cables at each hole to prevent foreign materials from entering the battery pack. Connect the front protection cover using 6 M5 pH bolts. Turn on the circuit breaker. Seconds after the circuit breaker is switched on, four LED indicators will light up. To ensure that installation has been done correctly, check that the LED power indicator is green. Finally, close the front cover and turn on the inverter. 4. Uninstallation Next, LG Energy Solution will show you how to uninstall the Resu 16H Prime. Prepare tools for uninstallation. 1. Switch the inverter off. 2. Open the front cover and switch the circuit breaker off. Make sure it is in the off position. Three, loosen the six bolts and remove the front protection cover. Four, disconnect the cables. Five, reattach the front protection cover with the six M5 pH bolts. Six, loosen four bolts and remove the top cover. Seven, loosen the six M6 bolts and disassemble standing bracket two. Eight, after that, move the battery pack off the wall and remove standing bracket one from the wall. Nine, reattach the top cover and tighten four M5 by L200 long flange bolts with a torque of five Newton meters. 10, 
Place the spacers on the positions marked with labels on the battery modules. 11. Disconnect the power connector and sensing connector on the right and left side. Pull the TPA and press the button at the center of the connector. Then pull out the connector vertically. Push in the sides of the connector and pull out the connector vertically. Then pull the connector out to the side of the battery module. 12. Disassemble the module support brackets with 6 bolts each. 13. Repack into the box. 